Hello everyone. So today I bought these four old laptop batteries from a local laptop repairing shop. Now each of these batteries contains six lithium ion cells. So in total from these four batteries we will get a total of 24 lithium ion cells. So uh, I can see that all of these batteries they are aftermarket batteries. So they are pretty cheap looking and lightweight. You can also check the water of each of these batteries. Now we will start prying open these batteries. This is highly risky as if you puncture through one of the lithium ion cells, it will easily catch fire. So you have to be very careful while opening these batteries now as I told you these are aftermarket batteries so they easily open now these were original laptop batteries we will have to work much harder to pry these open so as you can see we have six lithium ion cells each of them is 2000 mAh now let's remove this remaining plastic piece So that's one battery done. Now we will keep this battery to a side and we will start prying open other batteries. Now I will fast forward through this bit and we will carry on from there. So now all the lithium ion cells are out of their case. Now let's separate them from each other. And to do so, we will use some pliers. We will basically pull on the spot welds and they should come off. So I will do the same with the remaining cells. And I will also fast forward through this bit. And we will carry on the video once all the cells are separated out from each other. And out of nowhere I'm bleeding so that's what I was telling you about working with the lithium ion cells is very dangerous especially you have to be careful with these metal connectors they're very sharp so yeah be careful
Now as all the cells are separated out, we will use a multimeter to test them. We will see which one is good and which one is bad. So we will set the multimeter on 20 volts DC and we will start testing them one by one. We will connect the red probe to positive and the black probe to negative. And as you can see we are getting 4 volts which means that this one is good. Now we will test all of them. This one is also good. So if you are getting a voltage of less than 2 volts you may consider the cell as bad. So let's again fast forward through this and we will finally see how many of them are good and how many of them are bad. So upon testing all of these cells only two were faulty so yeah I got pretty lucky on this one as out of 24 cells only two were faulty and I got 22 working cells. So I will be using these cells in my future projects so stay tuned for those and also please make sure to subscribe the channel and check out all the videos that I upload on my channel. Thanks everyone. Also I want to mention that the six orange lithium ion cells you see are only 1800 mAh and all other cells are 2000 mAh. Also as I mentioned earlier these are not original laptop batteries these are the aftermarket ones so the lithium ion cells we get feel pretty cheap and lightweight. If for a comparison I compare one of the lithium ion cells with an original lithium ion cell that I have this one feels pretty cheap. As I have here, this is an original 2000 mAh lithium ion cell and when I compare this with this lithium ion cell that I got from the laptop battery, this one feels pretty cheap and lightweight. So that was it for this video. Thanks everyone and keep watching.